let's solve this trig equation. Tan of some angle equals negative 2. So I'm looking for the angle that would give me a ratio of sides, y over x is tangent, of negative 2. All right? I always start with my picture. Picture is worth a thousand words. Pictures are incredibly useful when you're dealing with trig. Okay, so tan is negative. So tan is negative when y divided by x is negative. So I need my x and my y to be different signs. So it's not going to be in the first quadrant. Ah, but the second quadrant where my y is positive and my x is negative, that is one place where tan is going to be negative. So I'm going to make a little reference triangle there. And let's see, third quadrant is negative x divided and a negative y, so negative divided by negative, positive, so that's not going to work. But fourth quadrant, my x is positive, my y is negative. Okay, so I know my two solutions in this domain are going to be in the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant. This is not a nice ratio on our unit circle. We don't have that in our brain. We use a piece of technology, or if you have some old-fashioned trig tables, which is what I grew up with, you can do that. So I'm going to do inverse tan, second tan of negative 2. Huh, my calculator gave me a negative answer. So let me write this out again. I'm going to do the arc tan, or inverse tan, of negative 2, and that's going to give me my angle. Remember, this sentence says, what angle gives me a tangent of negative 2? All right, and my calculator gave me this, negative 1.107, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Remember, in an angle, when you have a negative, that just tells you what direction I'm rotating in. Positive rotation is counterclockwise. A negative rotation is clockwise. Okay? So that is just telling me, my calculator is just telling me, oh, I rotated this way. It's telling me one of my answers is in the fourth quadrant, which I knew already from my picture. So really, using this information in my picture, I realize, oh, this is giving my giving me my reference angle. This is 1.107 blah 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 radians, that little reference angle. That means this little reference angle is 1.107. Now don't put a negative there because the negative doesn't tell you about your reference angle. It just told me this angle is in the fourth quadrant, which I already knew. Are we okay? All right, so now to find my answers. I just, of course, always start where x is 0 and see how far you rotated to your first answer here. Boink. Oh, well, I didn't quite get to pi. I'm just shy of pi. So to find that answer, I'm going to do pi minus my reference angle. We'll figure out what that is in a second. My second solution is going to be all the way around. Boom. Okay, so how am I going to find this? Well, I almost got to 2 pi. I'm just shy of 2 pi. So to find that second solution, I'm going to do 2 pi minus my reference angle. Are we okay? You always do plus or minus from 0, or 2 pi, or pi. Never the pi over 2, because I'm starting at 0. So you're always seeing how far away you are from your x axis to see where your solutions are. So my two answers are, and again, don't round. I just rounded it in the middle of I'm not rounding, I'm using the actual value on my calculator. So, make sure you do that. Of course, I have to get rid of the negative on my calculator. So my two answers are about, and let's round to the nearest 
uh, thousandths again, 0.2.034. And uh, drum roll, please. This is taking a while for me to do this. I hope I'm putting this in. And about 5.176 radians. Those would be your two answers for that. Now look what is not on my answer. The thing that the calculator gave me is not in my answers. Why not? Did the calculator lie? Is that not really a solution to this equation? Well, this is a solution to the equation, but it's not a solution in the domain that I wanted to find my solutions for. So sure, negative 1.107, blah, 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 radians is a solution to this equation, but it's not between 0 and 2 pi, right? So that angle I got by rotating in the positive direction. Does that make any sense? And again, let's see, 2 radians. Well, one radian is about that, so two radians, that makes sense. There's your 3.14 radians. Two pi radians, that's six something radians. So five, that makes sense. That makes sense that that would be the solution there. We're gonna try one more. We're gonna try cosine. Okay, let's solve this one. Cosine of theta is negative 5 thirteenths. Cosine is negative. Cosine, I know, is associated with my x, so cosine is negative when my x is negative, so that is my second quadrant and my third quadrant. So I'm rotating and terminating in the second quadrant or rotating and terminating in the third quadrant. I'm going to make my little reference triangles. Again, to undo cosine, I'm going to do the inverse cosine, which is arc cosine or cosine negative 1. So the inverse takes the ratio whoops, and gives me an angle as an output. Okay? Remember, input and output are reversed. Let's ask our calculator what it's going to tell me when I do second cosine, inverse cosine of negative 5 thirteenths. Drum roll, please. Of course, you want to make sure you're in radian mode. It is about 1.96558, blah, 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 blah. I'm keeping the exact value in my calculator, but I'm not going to bother writing more digits down. Okay, so let's see. 1.9, that's about 2 radians. So let's think. 1 radian is around there. 2 radians. Oh, that's... My calculator this time gave me this rotation. 1.9655 blah blah blah. Interesting. In my other examples, the calculator gave me information that had me find the reference angle. In this situation, I'm seeing from my picture that the calculator is not giving me a reference angle. It's giving me this big obtuse angle. Hmm. Now, is this one of my solutions? Oh, sure. That's between 0 and 2 pi radians. So I already have a solution. And let's round to the nearest tenths, hundredths, thousandths place. So I have one solution. Da -da -da -da. Now, all I have to do is find the second solution. Ooh. I don't have my reference angle. So how am I going to do that? How am I going to find how far I'm going from where I start always to where I'm ending in the third quadrant? Think about that for a moment. Pause this video and see if you can figure it out. I bet you can. There are various ways to do it, of course. All right, did you figure it out? Well, one way to do it is to say, oh, maybe I'll find my little reference angle. I think I could find my little reference angle and say, oh, it's just shy of pi. And that rhymes. Yeah, I could find my reference angle by saying pi minus that 1.965. Well, let's ask our calculator. What pi minus that 
value is. So my reference angle is about 1.176 blah 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 blah. Oh, so this little reference angle is about 1.176. Of course that means this other little reference angle is about 1.176. So you can just add those all up. Or you could just add pi plus one reference angle. However you want to do that is fine and dandy. And you should get your second answer, which is 4.318 radians. Of course, if you think about it, there's another way to do it. If I know this angle, and I want to find this angle, it's going to end up being 2 pi minus this angle. Think about why that works. Okay, there are some examples for you. Have fun.